it doesn't make a damn kind of sense! Oh, keep it down. I'm trying to study. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting up so soon? Hello? It's not your problem. I need you. Do you need some help, Jonathan? If there was another way, I wouldn't even ask you. Well, chill out. It's fine. You saved me from that fire, so I owe you. And I don't like going you, so let me just help you and we can call it even, okay? So what are you working on? Sit. Show me. You'd sit at a table alone with me. I'm not scared of you. All right. This is what I'm working on, or supposed to be working on. Basic blueprint. Yeah, well, the construction starts at the blueprint, right? And then you estimate a cost, work up a bid. But, I mean, it's... See? This? It looks like a description of what the client wants. Yeah, I know. It's the construction project, Lee, but it's these... I don't know, the, the print is too small, and the letters get all mixed up in my head. It's like the P's look like B's or D's or... Oh, you mean you are... Whatever. I'm looking for help, not a... Diagnosis. No, no. Millions of people have it, Jonathan. It's not like you're in bad company. Oh, I am bad company. Let's just call it a night. No way. I can help you. Project calls for the construction of 25 2,200 square foot buildings with kitchen and living area, and if the plumbing and electricity costs $60,000 on 3,000 square feet, then... That's uh, 44,000 for 2,200 square feet. How did you do that? It's easy when I hear it out loud. You're surprised, huh? No, I'm not. I always knew you were smart. You just act stupid most of the time. <laughs> Thank you for the clarification. But you know, this problem that you have, the letters getting mixed up, that can be dealt with. Learning disabilities or... I'm not disabled. Don't call me that. I'm tired. But you, you didn't finish your bids yet. Screw the bids. I don't even care about this loose construction crap. You should. It's your family's business. No. Correction. Joshua is not my family. Well, Reva's your mother. Josh and Billy's dad, H.B. Lewis, left his share of the company to her. You know, it's a nice gift for the housekeeper's daughter. She was his wife once, too, you know. <sighs> right. It's hard to keep track. You would have liked H.B. He's a rule breaker, a hell raiser, just like you. He started Lewis Oil on a nickel and a handshake. He was one of those wild whatever you call him. Wild catter. That's it. All the Lewis and Shane men. Hi. I was helping Jonathan study. Well, there's something new. Yeah, it's Lewis construction stuff. I want to impress my boss and earn my paycheck. Next time you want to talk business, call me. I'll help you out. Oh, look, Tammy, the gods have smiled on me. Sandy's going to be my tutor. I think we've done enough for today. Well, thank you for sticking it out. No problem. I owe you. You owe him? I can explain. You know, no need. We spend way too much time talking. This is nice. I wasn't expecting to see you tonight. Mm, well, I had a meeting with Bill, and he had to take off. Thought I'd pick up some food, take it to your place. I come in here, and... Here I am. What more could a guy ask for? What's this? Open it. You'll see. A present. I looked in the calendar, and I saw that it's been six months. For us, really? Mm-hmm. Six months ago today, I found you at the docks, desperate because of what Jonathan did to you. That was my low point. But you pulled me up from it. No. You picked yourself up. And from that moment, you've been climbing step by step, getting your life together. I couldn't have done it without you. You would have done it anyway.
a ladder. So you can keep going up. Sandy. You're amazing, Tammy. You really are. Can, um, let's go. Uh, your place, my place. I am. I'm sorry, I can't. I'm, I'm sorry. It's okay, I understand. Can this happen, but later? Of course. Okay, go. I, go. I'll call you. Sandy, thank you for helping me climb the ladder. not all freaked out about the stuff between me and Tammy. You and Tammy. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting along uh, really good lately. And she's promised to help me with a few things, so we're probably going to be spending a lot of time together. Alone. If Tammy were my girl, I wouldn't want her spending time alone with a guy like me. Tammy's not yours. She never will be. And... We're doing great together. We'll see about that. <laughs> 